Hey Fear Busters, Field Agent Harper here with the rest of the field team. We're getting ready to go on a road trip to a museum. Yeah, they got a really great snake exhibit right now and it's hands on. Or hands off, that's so gross, but I hope you two have fun on your trip. Wait, what? You're not going, but you have to go. I hate to say it, but I'm just gonna have to sit this one out. Just because I'm a fear buster doesn't mean I'm fearless. There's no way I'm gonna let these precious hands touch anything slimy, especially snakes. So your fear is of slimy things? Have you ever even tried to touch anything slimy? Of course not, just the thought of it brings chills down my spine. Boy, do I have just the trick. Harper, go grab my emergency experiment kit. We're about to bust this fear. No way, Grant. Whatever you're thinking, it's not going to work. I've tried busting this fear of mine way too many times before. I've just learned to accept it. Here you go, Grant. I didn't even know you had something like this. What's in it? Oh, nothing. Just a few fear busting essentials. You'll hold that for me. Trey, you can put these on. Uh, okay. All right. Now, I gotta tell you, Trey, you're not the first person to ever be scared of something. The Israelites were actually scared to go into the land that God had promised them. You mean like how I'm scared to go into the slimy snake exhibit? Exactly. Now do me a favor and stir this water up for me with your hand. Okay, not so bad. Um, Grant, where are you going with this? Just wait. Back to the Israelites, they sent 12 men to go into the new land, you know, to check it out. Everything was looking pretty great until they stumbled upon some giants. Ten of the men were so scared that when they came back, they told everyone not to enter the promised land. <laughs> well, luckily, I don't see any giants in here. Um, keep stirring? Yep, just keep on stirring. Let's see, where were we? Oh, yeah! Ten of the men were scared, but the other two, Caleb and Joshua, had courage. They tried to tell everyone that they shouldn't be scared and that they should just trust God and enter the new land. Now, I hate to say it, but the Israelites decided to trust the 10 scared men and not trust God. Because the Israelites didn't have the courage that Caleb and Joshua did, God decided that they would have to wait to enter the promised land. They ended up wandering around the desert for 40 more years before they were allowed to enter the promised land. 40 more years! If only the Israelites had listened to Caleb and Joshua and had courage, they would have been able to enter the promised land sooner. Sounds like they could have busted their fear with courage. Great story, but what's that got to do with me and slime? Look! The water turned into slime! <laughs> wow! Look, this isn't so bad. Slimy, but not too slimy. I'm good. Bring on the hands-on snake exhibit. That's what I'm talking about. We can bust fear with courage! Guess we can say that my fear is... Busted! Busted.